Well, one, of the, one of the things that I, I get um, jealous of watching the show is just the vocabulary of the show because I think that like that's another thing that friends do like they have their own sort of secret words that they popularize amongst themselves and you guys sort of took that and just slam dunked that idea and I was just wondering like where does that like do you guys come up with some of those terms yourselves or does it just happen organically and you're like well oh that's like Eskimo brothers that's a really dumb term that we should use that like but that's that <laughs> that's Jeff and Jackie and, and, was, and just to quickly say is we improvise a ton on the show but Jeff and Jackie have a ton yeah. of vocabulary and there are lines and things that are set the up. The outlines written. themselves are incredibly funny. Yeah. So it's not like, oh, just like, oh, and then they walk over here and deliver this information. Right. There's a whole lot of funny on the page. Yeah. And then there's also, like Nick said, the room to throw it out. So if something better comes up on set, um, you know, it's our responsibility to write jokes. So we write jokes, but I don't think, with, we don't write all the jokes that end up in the show because mm -hmm. a lot of them come up on the set. And we don't write a lot of the connective tissue. And I think that's where the sort of authentic, natural feeling of the conversations comes from. What Mark was talking about sort of his improvisational skills in terms from a dramatic sense that allows the scenes to unfold in a really authentic way. Um, so we do I'm have very to... very good at that. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. You are. Although everything that Rafi's ever said is completely scripted. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that important. guy can improvise. Not at all. Right. That's Never. the other thing is that like a lot of a lot of the terms that you guys come up with are ways of getting around I imagine the standards and practices but it's like oh you we know we're not going to be well, able to say that. Yeah, I mean, yeah we couldn't say that one, right? What was yeah, but one? we had, when Good we time. started the show, they said there were five words you couldn't say or four words you couldn't say. You couldn't say fuck and all of its cousins. No frick, no frack, no nothing like that. We couldn't say cunt. We couldn't say pussy? No, we couldn't say no, pussy. I can did. say pussy. No, we can say pussy. You can say pussy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. The whole show is based on that word. And the one thing we couldn't say, oh, I know what it was. We're not allowed to say cocksucker. You can do anything else with a cock. You can munch it. You can put a hat on it. You can dress it up. You can't. Not suck. The people at home right now are just, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Dude, look in my eyes. Belushi's back for yeah. round two. Yeah. You, gotta, you say punch it? Yeah. I, gotta, I gotta thank it in a new paper towel. Let's go. So, if this he, is that moment in the TV testing where they're hooked up to the excitement meter on the eyes. Yeah. So, but so the one thing, the other one that we couldn't, they literally came down on us, they said you also can't say, and this came from like uh, Uncle Rupert, you couldn't do uh, anything with having to do with retard. And it was literally the same day they told us that, we're like, here's show five of season one. The usual bet. The us where Taco, Bobby Lee. Taco and Ruxin go to Chinatown and meet a Chinese <laughs> mentally <laughs> 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 It wasn't, it wasn't a News Corp role until we turned in that script. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we were so grateful because Nick Kroll had been trying out using written for a little while the word frittata. Yeah. And I had been using, yeah, I'd been doing stand up and figuring out yeah. a way because it it's a word that you often can't say on TV, and, and frittata seemed like a good fit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a natural uh, yeah. segue, really, in a lot of ways. Makes sense. sense. There are many breakfast items we yeah. could have chosen, frittata. <laughs> Turned out to be the bagel one. for a while, it just Keish. wasn't going over. Didn't work. Didn't a work. Thing. Yeah. Stone and dog. That worked out perfectly. Yeah. And that's, I think, what, just getting back to like, you know, semi improvised and semi scripted, I mean, I think. Uh, the biggest compliment, we hear two big compliments. One is like, it doesn't feel improvised, and that means that every word that's in there and every line has value. You're mm -hmm. not, that, you know, and I think what we work so hard on, and this comes from Curb, is structure. If the story has structure, and like what everyone needs to do in the scene is funny, then just get funny people to say it however you want, and, and you also, so you have that, which is like, basically, so there's a, this is gonna be baseline funny regardless, and then you get really funny people, and then it goes to another level, and our biggest job sometimes, too, is to like go, hey, 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 great. The scene is now about this. Um, Manic and Paul Shear, for instance, in the uh, episode, The Marathon. Goop, yeah, I was just thinking He starts coming in with this goop, and he starts spelling it out. <laughs> and we go, okay, this scene is now about spunk. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and you just, that's not what it was originally about, but you saw yeah. all these it guys so just great. like literally that with their great. knives. And, and Paul, uh, Paul, even though he's a mannequin, is so great at, at like uh. doing that where he's, even if he's insulted, he's the way he fights back just gives them more ammo. <laughs> and yeah. So it just builds like that. And so that was that was something that had was not in the script, but yeah. when we left to go, now we know what the scene Nobody is. looks prettier taken a beating than Paul yeah. Shearer. No. <laughs> that, that moment literally was like when the pinata opens up and all yeah, the children just <laughs> rush and forward. Steve like. Ramazizi, literally when he said spunk, I mean, because we know. <laughs> well, no, because originally he went sports, because he's so good, he went sports performance, you, you, utility, nutrition <laughs> kick. 
And he spelt it out knowing that one of us was going to go, that's fucking spot. <laughs> and, and as soon as it landed, it was like, oh, my God. It took a little bit, but what's the And then it's just question after question of, like, yeah. how did the spunk taste in your mouth? And he's like, <laughs> he's like, it's good. It's a little stringier than I thought it was going to be. And he could do that for hours. Just like the questions he's asking the security guard at the Paley Center in New York City right now. <laughs> Don't you know who I am? I have my parents yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now? All right. Fine. <laughs> um, His parents are assholes. <laughs> <laughs> What, just what? got a quick tweet from Paul. It yeah. said, I just followed a very tall, strong woman with a bulge in her shorts upstairs saying she was the host of the show. <laughs> um, not sure I'm in the right place. Yeah. What are we going to do? Just, let's just see what happens. Yeah. 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 Yeah.